Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and today's video is going to be a fun one. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Triple Chess theme team in the Grey League. The Triple Chess theme team consists of a Kingdra on the lead, Pawniard as the save switch, and Bisharp as the closer. This is absolutely not a team I would recommend for climbing, as it has a ton of shared weaknesses, but despite that, I was able to get some really fun wins. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out the Triple Chess theme team in action in the Great League. Hopping into the first match, hitting Kingdra into Defense Deoxys. If I'm gonna see a Deoxys anywhere, I definitely do want to catch it on the lead. They go straight for the Psycho Boost, and then they're going to be switching out. Psycho Boost does quite a bit of damage. They save switch into a Wall Rain, and I'm going to respond with Bisharp. Unfortunately, I will get outpaced here, and I'm gonna have to call a bait. Hoping the Icicle Spear, and they do. That is massive. Wall Rain fires off another Icicle Spear. This will get me low, but I do not have to shield this. And then my plan is to farm up to 100 energy and fire off the Focus Blast. I'm really hoping for a no shield here. Focus Blast, able to KO, taking down the wall rain. My opponent is probably going to bring back in the Defense Deoxys, and they do get one counter of farm. I'm going to bring in Kingdra, farm up, and then go for the Octazooka Bait. Outrage would do a ton of damage. I'm hoping to try and get the shield. We do. In the back, it's Registeel, and this is not what I was hoping to see. I do have Pawniard with a shield advantage, but I can only hit for neutral here with the Night Slashes, so I'm just gonna start spamming out these Night Slashes and hope for a boost. The good thing is that Pawniard is incredibly spammy, so I will be able to fire off Night Slash after Night Slash here. Going for the second Night Slash, Really hoping we can try and get a boost here. Night Slash lands. These Night Slashes are really starting to add up, but we're not able to get the boost. The other thing I have to be careful of is my opponent trying to snipe with Defense Deoxys. So I'm gonna farm up a bunch of energy, watch for the catch, in comes the Deoxys, and I fire off the Night Slash. This will not be enough to KO, but it will get them low. So they do commit the shield, and they're able to fire off a move. This is not good. Thunderbolt, almost enough to KO, and I'm gonna fire off the Night Slash. This is not gonna be enough to take out the Deoxys. I switch into Kingdra. Kingdra able to farm down. Can we reach the Octazooka? We cannot, and now we it's all up to Pawniard. Pawniard able to get to the Night Slash, and against all the odds, Pawniard taking down the Registeel, and that is a good game. Tough lead in the next match, Kingdra into Superior. I'm going to immediately save switch into Pawniard, and my opponent responds with Swampert. This is not a great spot to be in. Two Night Slashes do quite a bit of damage, but they're not quite enough to KO. Meanwhile, this Hydro Cannon is basically going to one shot from here. I'm not gonna commit a shield. Hydro Cannon, almost enough to KO. I'm able to reach a last second Night Slash. I'm hoping my opponent gives me the shield, but they do not. A very nice play by my opponent. I'm gonna wait my clock here, bring back in the Kingdra, and farm down. Superior is gonna be able to put in a lot of work here as Frenzy Plant, even though it's neutral, hits for a ton of damage. I'm gonna be shielding up the Frenzy Plant, farming up quite a bit, and then I'm gonna be going for the Octazooka Bait here, really hoping that I can get the shield from this Superior. We do, and then I'm gonna save switch into my Bisharp. Bisharp is really not going to appreciate the Frenzy Plants. It's resisted, but it does massive damage. Bisharp is extremely glassy, and I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse here to try and take them out. We do. In the back, it's Registeel. We may have a chance here, but these lock-ons are doing a lot of damage to Bisharp. I think we have to bait the Dark Pulse and then try and land the Focus Blast. I do shield up and I'm going for the Dark Pulse. I desperately need them to shield here, and they do. Come on, Bisharp, get there. We are so low. Bisharp able to reach the Focus Blast, and that will be game over. Bisharp vanquishes the Registeel, and that is a good game. Hopping into the next match, and Kingdra into another Defense Deoxys lead. We were able to beat the last one, but this is still an incredibly tricky Pokemon for this team to face. They are farming up a ton of energy here. I'm just gonna go straight for the Outrage, hoping they decide to call the Octazooka bait, but they do commit the shield. 
they keep farming. I switch and I catch on the Pontiard. I'm really hoping that I caught the Psycho Boost and I did, let's go. They are going to bring Shadow Wall Rain into my Pontiard. I'm gonna over farm quite a bit and go for the Iron Head on what should be a CMP tie to the Earthquake. This will do a nice amount of damage. And then, since I have a shield advantage, I'm gonna shield and try and take Switch here, if at all possible. Unfortunately, I do get baited with an Icicle Spear. This should just be another Icicle Spear, so I do not have to shield here. This is going to get me low. Pontier, definitely not the tankiest Mon around, but I will be able to fire off the Night Slash, take out the Wall Rain, and win Switch advantage. They bring in the Deoxys. Deoxys is able to farm me down. I'm gonna bring in the Kingdra, and they just have a lot of energy on this Deoxys, so I'm in a bit of trouble here. I shield up the Psycho Boost. In the back, they have Umbreon. I'm gonna farm up, go for the catch, and I'm able to catch onto Bisharp, but this is still not looking great for me because even if I land a Focus Blast, Defense Deoxys is just going to be able to farm me down, so things are not looking good for me whatsoever here, and I do resign the match. Hopping into the next match, getting Kingdra into Shadow Nidoqueen. I do have two better responses in the back, so I'm going to save switch into Pontiard, and the Nidoqueen is staying in. I farm up, and I go for the Night Slash just as they reach the Earth Power. Night Slash, able to connect, and we get the attack boost, so I am 100% shielding here. Unfortunately, I do get baited. In comes Wall Rain, but Wall Rain is not going to appreciate these boosted Night Slashes. Pontiard charging up the first. It does over half of Wall Rain's health, and I'm able to get to a second. And this will be forcing a shield if they want to keep that energy. They will commit the shield. They farm up. They farm too much, and I'm able to reach a third Night Slash. And I get both shields from the Wall Rain. That's perfect. At this point, Pontiard has done its job. I'm going to one shield farm down with Bisharp. And if they didn't have a great counter to Pontiard, then hopefully Bisharp with an energy lead should be able to sweep in the endgame. I will commit the shield. It's unfortunately only an Icicle Spear. In comes the Nidoqueen, and I'm going to fire off the Dark Pulse. This will take out the Nidoqueen. What do they have in the back? Opponent sees the writing on the wall and concedes the match. Hopping into the next match, getting Kingdra into Galarian Stunfisk, and this is bad, as honestly, I don't have any good response to a Galarian Stunfisk on this team. I'm just gonna go straight for the Octazooka and hope that I can get the attack drop. Octazooka lands, we do not get the attack drop, and they're going to be able to fire off the Earthquake. That does massive damage onto Kingdra. Kingdra farming up, trying to get to the Octazooka, but they're going to be able to fire off a Rock Slide before I'm able to get there. Now, I'm just gonna bring in Pontiard, farm up, go for the Night Slash, and basically hope that Night Slash is enough to take out the Stunfisk here. Going for the Night Slash, we get the shield, so they clearly want to get damage off on this Pontiard, so I'm more than willing to commit a shield back. They do end up going for the Rock Slide bait there. I'm gonna farm up and fire off another Night Slash. This should be range where Night Slash is enough to KO here. We're able to take them out. What do they have in back? They have Pelipper, and things are honestly not looking great great here for me, as this Weather Ball is going to do massive damage, nearly taking out the Pontiard. Somehow that wasn't a CMP die, and they're able to get an extra wing attack through. Night Slash gets them low. I'm able to reach a last second Night Slash. I'm really hoping that I can get the shield here, but my opponent does call it. In comes Bisharp, and I just need to try and farm down if at all possible. I'm going to let the first one through. That does massive damage. In the back, they have Venusaur, and unfortunately, I'm just not going to be able to do enough damage here because I need three Dark Pulses, two to KO, and one to be able to get the shield. I'm not going to be able to do it, and I resign the match. Hopping into the next match, getting Kingdra into another Nidoqueen. This time I decide to play it out slightly differently. I stay in, wait for them to throw a Poison Fang, and then I am going to be safe switching into Pontiard. We tank the Fang, in comes Pontiard, my opponent farms up, and they respond with an Umbreon, which is by no means a good counter to Pontiard. Pontiard is going to be resisting all of Umbreon's possible movesets while being able to hit for super effective with these Fury Cutters. So I'm in a very good position to flip switch advantage if I want to. They're going to go for the foul play, but a second one is not going to be enough to KO, so I don't have to commit a shield here. I'm just going to be able to very comfortably fire off the Iron Head, and then that should hopefully put it into a range where a Night Slash can KO. So I am going to be farming up here with Pontiard, farming up, and I fire off the Night Slash on what should be a CMP tie. This 
should be enough to KO the Umbreon. They let it through and down they go. Back in comes the Nidoqueen. I'm able to reach the Iron Head. I am full sending the Iron Head here. Iron Head able to connect and gets the Nidoqueen low. Nidoqueen leaves with quite a lot of energy, but very low HP. I bring in Kingdra, basically just to force them to throw some energy, and we'll have to see what they have in the back. We tank the Poison Fang, we bring in Bisharp, Bisharp goes for the farm down, but they're able to reach a last second move. I shield, unfortunately it was only a Poison Fang, but they have Sableye in the back, and with an energy lead, Bisharp is looking pretty good here. We're able to connect with the Dark Pulse, and now... I'm just gonna go for a farm down. I am not gonna throw another charge move here. I'm just gonna fast move them down because they know shielded the first move. Kingdra able to farm down and that is a good game. Hopping into the next match and you may be wondering to yourself, Home Slice, what happens when you see a charmer with this team? Well, we stay in and we concede the match. Nightmare lead in the next match as we lead Kingdra into another Charmer. This time I am actually going to try and play it out. I save switch into Pawneard and they are staying in. I farm up to the Iron Head and I'm going for the Night Slash bait. Desperately needing to grab the shield and we do. That's huge. Ninetales goes for the farm down but I'm able to reach the Iron Head. Do they respect the damage? They do not! Pawneard one shots Alolan Ninetales. In comes Sableye, and I'm gonna respond with Bisharp. Bisharp is able to do some massive neutral damage with Dark Pulse here, so I'm just going straight for it. Bisharp able to grab the final shield from the Sableye. Unfortunately, Sableye does have a massive energy lead here, which is not great for me. I tank the foul play. In the back is Diggersby, going for the Focus Blast. I click the move, but I die with it. And because of that, I probably am going to lose this game. I shield up the Earthquake, but oh my goodness, we fell agonizingly short of that Focus Blast. I'm gonna go for the Octazooka, hoping for a debuff. We do not get it, and I just have to commit the second shield here. They go straight Earthquake, because they know that so long as they can get shields down, Sableye is gonna be able to close, and they reach one final Earthquake. I was not able to farm down, needed a move to take out the Sableye in the back, and we lose a heartbreaking game. Hopping into the final match, sending Kingdra into Trevenant. I'm going to immediately save switch into Pawneard, and my opponent responds with Shadow Drapion. So long as they're not running Aqua Tail, I should resist both of their standard charge moves, meaning that I can definitely make a play for switch here. I farm up, and I'm going to fire off the Iron Head. This will do massive neutral damage if it lands, which it does, and now I'm just going to shield up and try and commit to the farm down. It turns out they do have Aqua Tail. This is going to be close. Pawneard able to farm down and take switch advantage. And even better, we leave with a ton of energy. So if they bring in the Trevenant, which they do, this Trevenant is going to have to commit shields. I'm going for the Night Slash. Night Slash able to land. I farm up and I'm going for Night Slash number two. If they want to keep the Trevenant alive, they have to shield here and they do. Pawneard just not able to reach a third. Trevenant is forced to burn energy. And now from here, I'm just gonna bring in Bisharp to get an energy lead. In the back, they have Shadow Skun Tank. Things are honestly looking really nice here. I'm gonna shield the first one and then go straight for the Octazooka, hoping that I can try and get that defense drop. But either way, I should be in a pretty nice spot here because these Dragon Breaths are absolutely tearing through the Shadow Skun Tank. I am able to get the shield. We are able to get them quite low. And at this point, Bisharp is going to be able to close out this game. They go for the crunch, that takes me out. In comes Bisharp, and I'm just gonna fire off the Dark Pulse right away. I do not wanna risk a flamethrower. Dark Pulse takes down the Skun Tank. In comes Trevenant, and Trevenant is going for a move. Everything they throw should be resisted here. Seed Bomb does some damage, but not enough, and we're able to get the win. All in all, this was probably my most challenging theme team to date. This theme team has a massive amount of shared weaknesses, meaning that getting wins with it was honestly very difficult, but the few wins that I was able to get were absolutely glorious. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.